Stephen Maguire is now just two frames away from claiming the very notable scalp of Judd Trump and also reaching the final of the Coral Tour Championship. What a turn of events. Work still to do, but opportunity knocks. Work still to do for Judd Trump, that's for sure. I think he's got an early chance at a long one here. Well, that's more like it. Like all great players, when the pressure's on, they seem to rise to the occasion. Judd's done that a few times already this season. He needs to do it now. He needs to up his game at least one or two gears. When he beat Maguire, 6-5 in the Players' Championship quarterfinal back in February in Southport, he was 5-3 down, and he was well behind, and the decider produced Five. a clearance that was heavenly. But you can't keep doing that. Well, looks like that's not gone to plan. Looks a little bit dejected there. I fully expected to be on a red there. You have to say that was a little bit unfortunate. Couldn't do anything else but play the shot he played. It's always the way when you're trying so hard to make something happen. He needs to keep his concentration here. Can't afford any loose shots. Just got to be careful here when playing this safety shot not to push a red towards this left corner. He has pushed one to the left corner, but it was a pretty good shot, you'd have to say. Not quite so good this time. Can't quite see why it's just off straight. Chad's definitely got the cue power to be able to bring this cue ball back. But it takes tremendous cue in over this distance. Wow. What? Incredible. Not many players can play that shot. That is fantastic cue in. Wasn't it just a Trump special? Now, can that galvanise him?
six. That took some Render's Q power. Right, the Q come off the bridge hand after he hit it, but that's because he had to hit the ball so hard. He hit it that accurate over that distance. Really is good Q in. Seven. That one little shot might just give him the confidence he needs to try and make something happen, get things going, get some confidence. He'd love these two reds to be a plant because he's just come the wrong side of this pink, so he's going away from the reds. So if it is a plant, it's a right corner. Means he hasn't got to do nothing with the cue ball. Thirteen. It's just been one of those days, time and again. He's been in situations like this. You're from 13. Yeah, it can be so frustrating when you're trying so hard out there. Things just keep going against you. But what you can't afford to do is be careless. And he has been playing that safety shot. If Stephen a chance at this long red. Well, yeah, Judd played that safety shot out of a bit of frustration. Switched hands. He could have to sit and pay the price now. Too much really to aim for here for Stephen. Reds are spread out, but not very easy to get on at the moment. And it doesn't look too good. I think he's landed about the same place Five. as what Judd did a few shots ago. I don't think anything goes from there. So take your medicine and play a real good safety shot. Don't leave nothing easy for your opponent. Stephen Maguire, five. It's not too bad, but Judd could be tempted to take this long red on if he thinks he can just get enough into the cue ball to screw past these two reds, the one on the black spot and the one on the cushion. Just get enough into the cue ball to avoid these. He normally plays the swing around the houses shot really well, but there was one before the the interval. He missed it by a mile. That's why oh, we couldn't resist the plant. Well, he surprised me there, Phil. I didn't even think that was on. I thought he would have played for that a few shots ago when he was on the pink. You'd have to say it was a great effort. This has been a match full of frames that resemble a decider. This is another one, and he's caught that grossly thick. He 
Yeah, jumped off the shot there as soon as he hit it. He knew he did it all wrong. So this is very worrying for Judd Trump fans. I forgot that he's capable of playing like this after the form he showed the last couple of years. This is very much out of character. It's come dead straight on this blue, so just pull the cube back a few inches. If he doesn't feel he can avoid the reds on the bottom cushion here, he might screw into the two reds close together. Six. All depends if he thinks he can pot this plain ball and avoid cannon into another red. Nicely played Cannon there, but he's going to need another good shot now. Got to pot this pink. And screw back across the table for a red into right corner. It's going to be very difficult to win the frame at this visit, but in this sort of situation, you're all literally just playing one shot ahead of yourself. Other times when the balls are spread a bit nicer, you can play three, four shots ahead, but at the moment, Stephen be looking just to get on the next ball with a certain angle. So just playing one, possibly two shots ahead at the moment. 20. Twenty seven. Mm -hmm. A little short of where he wanted to be there on the pink. I'm loath to say this, and I should know better, but I just got the feeling Maguire right now is the more intense of the two, and he's feeling the better of the two. I'd have to agree with that, Phil. He definitely looks the stronger player of the two at the moment, by quite a margin. Big shot coming up here, though. This really is a big shot. He's going to be bringing another red into play here. In this situation, you're not quite sure where the cue ball's going, so you have to put all your efforts into the pot. Just let the cue ball take, it, take care of itself. Yep, lovely Good pot. Just needs a nice little. Well, that's not too bad. It's the wrong side of the pink. I'm going to have to travel around the table. Just got to avoid cannon into one of the bolt colours here. And if he avoids cannon into one of the bolt colours, he's got every chance of going on to win this frame.
Just needs to avoid the brown. Oh, and he's done it. What a great shot this is. Fantastic shot. So it breaks up to 41. You have to say he's done very well to get to 41. It didn't look good when he came to the table. But he's going to need one of the two reds that are tied up. So. Still going to look for one more good positional shot. He's going to get over the line in this frame. As you can see, pretty straight on the pink here, so can choose to roll through if he wishes, or maybe just hold the spot. I think he's doing play for the play for the pink. And then depending where he's on it, can play to get either of the reds off the cushion and then where he lands on the pink. So they see the only ready can move now is the red on the side cushion. I think he can get into this cue ball enough to dislodge it. So anything but a double kiss here and he should have a shot at this next red. Oh, I didn't quite get into the cue ball enough. That was a good effort. Only his third break 55. over 50 in the match. And it's not sufficient to wrap the frame up. It's still very much alive. Nevertheless, well done to Maguire. It was a, a timely 55. and hard-fought contribution. That said, the safety shot to finish it off left much to be desired. Yeah, I'd be so disappointed with that because straight away he's given Judd a chance to bring the other red into play as well. So, big shot here for Judd. Uh, it's just not happening, is it? Just not happening. Normally very reliable, that sort of shot. It looks like he's had a huge slice of luck where, unless this red passes the pink. And if it does, that'll be the end. Four. An 85% font success rate for Judd Trump. Well below the normal benchmark. Stephen McGuire, seven. Two snookers required. Balls aren't situated too badly for snookers. No, I think a concession would have been entirely foolish. You never know, especially on a day like this when all of the norms have been thrown out the window.
It is two snookers or one snooker and a free ball, and that's why he kept the red on the table. But if Maguire can float this one in. Ooh, so close. That would have been frame over. No snookers yet from Judd, but that little nudge on the black there has made that a really big target now. Yellow, brown and black. Well, he didn't play in behind the blue with the red, but he'll take it. I think Stephen can just get through to this. This could go close to the corner pocket. No, he made sure, hit it extra thin. Plenty of distance between the balls, making it very difficult for Judd to get snookers. But Stephen's aware here that he can't be too nonchalant because then balls are sitting very nice for snookers Fine. oh that's a disaster Stephen Maguire, six. that Number is five. it now and so eight six of the scoreline in favor of Stephen Maguire it means the world champion and pre-tournament favorite is two down with three to play Judd Trump in trouble